Hey guys, it's Laura here from Laura's Creative Pages and Cards and we're up to day five of our 31 cards and I'm really excited to be showing you how to make this wishing you a happy birthday. So this one is in the portrait orientation. So we've got the four and a quarter by five and a half in size. Okay, so here's the pieces of uh, paper that you'll need. So you'll need a decorative piece of paper and this one here is five and a half inches tall by two inches and then a lemonade piece which is a quarter of an inch wide by the five and a half height. You'll need a piece of green uh, apple card which is three and seven eighths by two and three eighths and the white daisy card is three and three quarters by two and a quarter for the stamping and then we'll just need a scrap piece of white cardstock which is to stamp the happy on um, and then we're going to fussy cut the letters out of it. For the embellishments on this particular card it was out of the decorative paper and I love that we can take out um, just some of the pieces as embellishments so this piece is as big as we need it. Alrighty so let's get on to making this card today. First of all we're going to start with adhering a couple of the pieces down onto the card before we get to our stamping. So not a lot of tape is required, just a piece at the top, middle and at the bottom and that's all we need. And when I line up I press down in one corner, the bottom corner on this card, so once it's lined up to the left and to the bottom and then once I feel that's right that's when I go ahead and press it all down. And then we're going to add the lemonade little strip. This particular one just needs a piece of tape at the top, a piece of tape in the middle and another piece of tape at the bottom. And this one uh, gets stuck flush to the existing presents hat party paper. Okay, once we've done that I'm going to add the green apple uh, matting. This particular one I would like to add this with uh, 3D foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. So the height I'm going to cut is roughly the height of the piece of card. And then I'm just going to cut this piece into thirds. For me, this is enough to hold the card uh, on securely as well as uh, not giving it any sag in the middle because I'm going to put one third on the far left side, I'm going to put one third on the far right side and I'm just going to put a piece in the middle. So yes, I do look like I'm a little bit of a Scrooge McDuck, but to be honest with you, it is just adhesive. I would prefer to stretch this as far as I can, and then I can buy more of the tools and more of the paper that I desire uh, out of my crafting catalog. All right, so I'm going to make sure I get that lined up in the center before I press down. So taking my time, not rushing it. Once I feel that it is straight, that's when I'm going to press down. Okay, let's get on to the stamping. So on the stamp set, uh, Wishing You Everything, we have got the Wishing You A, and that here is just here, and it is already a straight stamp. So I just loaded that onto my block and stamped it at the top. And then the birthday is a curved one, but as I've shown you in previous videos, we can take this curved stamp and we can straighten it on the block so that we have a straight birthday and then that one there gets stamped in the black at the bottom. When I do stamp them on I just make sure I leave a little bit of a gap around them because of course we're going to add a Laura journal border. All right it's time for the happy. So onto the white cardstock I needed both of the solid happy image which has the frame around it and I needed the, um, the outline as well. So I'm going to stamp the outline first in my black ink and it just needs to make sure that that outline fits within that piece of scrap paper. So this piece of cardstock that I've got down in front of me is actually just one and a quarter inches in height. So I'm going to get that happy stamped into the center of that white piece of card. Perfect. Next, I am going to bring over the color and the color I used for this card was Lagoon. And I'm going to stamp up the solid image. I'm not fussed, I do not need to get any of the border stamped up in it. Obviously, you're not going to miss the middle of the border, but I don't need the ends of the border because ultimately all I need is the solid happy to go over my outline because I'm going to now fussy cut these out. So I don't need the border, it doesn't need the full piece of cardstock. Okay, and so I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm just going to trim off each of these letters and then fussy cut around them to create the happy. Ah, uh, look at that. How fast is that? I did prepare it earlier. All right, now that they're cut, what I like to do before I actually start hearing is I like to lay them onto my artwork because I want to make sure they're going to fit. 
I'm pretty sure they are because they fit on the previous artwork, but I still like to space them out and make sure everything's right. And I am going to adhere these with my 3D foam tape. I do use a lot because it elevates the artwork and it just makes it just that little bit more special. So I'm actually cutting this particular piece of foam tape into quarters. So a little bit narrower than I have done in the past, but the, then they become the perfect width to go on the back of each letter. As you can see, I don't actually put a lot on the back, just enough to pop it up off the page and keep it secure and also so that there's not a lot of sag. So it's not a big piece of card, so it's not going to have weight behind it to sag. And then I'm just going to place that first letter on and then before I stick the next ones down, just put them in place to make sure that I've got enough uh, room for the spacing. Okay, so I've just done that for you, it's all stuck on. Now, if you don't have uh, the Lagoon ink and you only have black ink, then you could most definitely just stamp the outline here on Lagoon cardstock or in fact, any color cardstock you have on hand that would suit the theme of this of your card. And for this one here, same thing, I would just cut off each of the letters and fussy cut around them, giving leaving a little bit of a space uh, around the edge. I never cut on the black lines. And once I place this over the top, you're going to see it actually isn't a lot different to what I've already done on the white cardstock. So it's certainly going to look just as good. Okay, we're going to add the Laura journal pen edging because I just always think this just gives a little bit of a woo-woo factor. And uh, so around she goes, a journal pen, I hold it firmly in my fingers and just drag my hand along the mat. Now that's done, it's time to add it to the card. So really simple stamping, really simple technique, but really gives an excellent result in the end. And just takes that stamp set and changes it up from what its original purpose was meant to be. Okay, that looks fabulous, but of course we're going to add a little bit of embellishments. And so I've just taken out of this paper, I've just cut out of them a few of the elements so they become individual pieces and they all almost look like little stickers purposely made as an embellishment. This is what I love about printed paper. So when you've got any print paper available to you, just have a look at it and see what you could cut out of it for it to be an embellishment. Right, so I've just gone and cut out all of the four pieces for you. Here they are, ta-da! And um, I just want to show you that I actually leave a little bit of a white border around the edge of it, okay? I don't cut on the line. It This way, it um, doesn't show up imperfections as much. These elements are also going to be stuck on with a little bit of 3D foam tape. Again, there's not a lot of weight in these. You just need a little piece in the middle. Just enough to hold it on there securely and just to give it a little bit of dimension. Overlapping of the elements looks really good as well. So just make sure you don't put the foam tape on the area where it's going to overlap. For this hat, what I've done here is I've only put adhesive on the bottom of the hat, uh, 3D foam that is, and then I just put normal adhesive over the at the top point because this particular one is overlapping the sentiments which was already 3D foam raised. So you just be aware when you're sticking things down when they're overlapping. And the last piece we need to stick on is the star. So just a little square of foam tape out of that um, and then into the back and that goes on the top. So there you go, this is day five completed. Really fun, um, vibrant card, very easy to make and certainly a great way to use your printed paper if it's got great embellishments. And of course, if you don't have Lagoon ink, you can use the Lagoon card. Thanks guys for watching, bye now.